Hi everyone, and welcome to Adopt AI. When I was 12, my dream was to become a chess master. And every day, I was playing against my computer. And every day, I was losing against my computer. I remember my father used to say to me that I should keep on playing, as in chess, at the end, AI always lose against humans. But the same year, I witnessed a historical victory. This the same year, Gary Gasparov, who was the biggest champion of, of back in the time, was defeated by IBM Deep Blue by a score of 3 to 2. And this ended up my last hopes. Since then, many times over the last 10 years, I witnessed AI pushing human limits away beyond expectation. First, when I was a student at school, I studied philosophy. And studying philosophy, I was told that humans only can use words. I believe today we need to reconsider this. Then, I was also told that humans only can share emotions and feelings. But studies have actually shown and proven that today, AI show more empathy than humans when listening to sick people at the hospitals. Even the ability to make complex reasoning is being questioned today, as AI is capable to pass very advanced mathematical exams today. New frontiers are being set every month, sometimes every week. And I believe this is just the beginning, as past models are used to contribute to the next research. When we created Artifacts with uh, Guillaume and Philippe 10 years ago, we used to define a lot to our client what AI was. Yet, let me tell you, this is not the case anymore. AI has spread faster than any other technology in the world, and it's today used by two companies out of three in the world. What we see is amazing. People work faster. At Artifact, when we deploy AI to our software engineering team, we actually found that they were shipping code 25% faster. People are also smarter. What we learn is that they can focus more on value-added tasks as the others are automated. They learn faster. We also found out that AI elevates the average level of employee to the equivalent of the top performer. And last, people innovate more. The time to build a POC has fallen from three months to five weeks. And as a consequence, we sometimes see some of our clients studying in the same time hundreds of use cases in parallel. We believe this is only the beginning. And probably the most impact is ahead of us. Why today AI is mostly used bottom-up to increase productivity of individual people by adding technology on top of their existing tasks. The next step, we think, will be to collectively reshape how people work together and to rethink end-to-end -end the processes. But 80 months from now, when ChatGPT went out, we thought deploying AI was something quite easy. And the video we saw online and the public demonstration were super impressive. Well, we know now that deploying generative AI and AI at scale is not easy. Only one company out of 10 actually succeeded in it. There are some reasons that I can explain that. But the most reason is that deploying AI is not buying. You cannot buy AI. You need to work. Generative AI and foundational AI needs a lot of work. First, upstream. Without data, no AI. Even the best algorithm in the world plug into the wrong data set will show perfectly something which is wrong. AI has put a spotlight in the need for very solid data foundations. Second, downstream. And this is the, th the thematic of the day. AI is about people. There is an urgency to train people. Only one person out of four exposed to AI has actually been trained. And this is a solid question we need to solve together regarding the power of these tools. Many questions still remain regarding AI. How we work together, how we build the trust, and how we can trust you know, what shows the algorithm, 
how we protect intellectual property, how we build system that is also protective toward environment and sustainable. But I believe we have everything we need to solve this as an ecosystem. We need to walk the talk. And the best way to solve this question is to experiment and try. I must say today I'm very proud to be French and European because I believe something is happening. First, we have one of the best fundamental research in the world that made possible companies like Mistral or Edge, which we are super proud today. Second, we receive an outstanding support from France and Europe. And I'm very proud today to announce that Artifact Research Center has received the support from France 2030 and will, together with Mistral, publish open source models. Last, in a world where adoption is everything, I believe our culture of trust and transparency is a game changer. While I'm traveling to US or Middle East, I see more and more people looking toward European companies because they trust European companies in the way they will protect their data, their assets, and their IP. I don't know what AI will be in three months, in six months, one year. What I know is that adoption for AI will be everything. We are now at a pivotal point. If these technologies are not adopted correctly, they will be not used. And even the best technology in the world will be completely useless if it's not adopted. Companies that embark into this journey now will move at light speed and will create competitive advantage forever. Let's be optimistic and let's build together the future of AI in a world where human and machine can complement each other and bring something the best out of these two. Chess has not disappeared. Chess has only become actually stronger. And the best competition in the world today are the ones where humans and machines team up. I would like to thank all and every one of you who came this morning. CEOs, members of executive committees, research team, search team, startup, technology. Thank you all for being with us this morning. As we celebrate our 10th anniversary, Artifact is already a success. I would like to pay a huge tribute to our 1,500 colleagues in 25 countries. Without them, anything will not be possible. I would also like to thank all our clients. We will never have been here without you. Many of our clients are in the room today, and even the best startup in the world without his client is nothing. Thank you, everyone, and let's adopt AI together. Thank you, everyone.